What is going on, everyone? And welcome to Cart 63. My name is Ben. Thank you very much for stopping by and checking out yet another one of my videos. I really do appreciate you uh, stopping by. To, boy, that's, I am just, I'm not getting any better at this. <laughs> you would think that I would eventually have my shtick down. I do not. Uh, if you didn't mind hitting a like on the video, possibly subscribe to the channel, that would be fantastic. I really would appreciate that as well. So uh, I have a, I've ex uh, explained before, I have a whole list of video ideas and sometimes I have a little hard time picking which one I'm going to do next. So when people are in my comments, they mention something and it, it kind of fires off like, hey, I wrote down that idea. Why don't I discuss that in the next video? So it's not that you mentioned it and then, hey man, I made a video about it type of thing. It's more of, it may be that. But it's also that I had the video idea in there and you just reminded me, why don't you go ahead and make that video? I'm like, yeah, man, sounds sounds great to me. So, uh, gear rule, finding more speed. Hmm, how can you find more speed if everybody is on that same gear rule? It's a good question, Ben. Okay, let's discuss this. All right, first off, what do I think about gear rules? I think they're fantastic. They have a multifaceted type of thing um, that you can work on. Uh, number one, for juniors, for kids getting into racing, predator class, clone class, whatever it is, this will refrain them from getting too fast on the track. They don't need to be going as fast as the adults. That's why we have restrictor plates in their carburetors. That's why we give them gear rules. A, a engine is only going to produce so much horsepower to a certain RPM that if you restrict the engine's RPM that is going to govern down exactly how fast they can. So wonderful thing, having kids going the same speed in order to develop their skills before they're in a, a open format where you know there's no gear rule type of thing is a really good thing. As far as when it comes to predators and things like that, keeping it a budget class, this keeps people from overturning their engines, people messing around with gears, getting more, you know, more jump out of the corner, more straightaway speed is where I was going with that. Um, there's, there's something to be said there for giving a gear rule to uh, even the field to where there isn't an advantage in that aspect. Now, I say, you know, find more speed. If you're, if you're stuck on the same gear, Ben, how could you possibly find more speed? Well, obviously, we're, we're, you know, we're going to omit tires and we're going to, or not tires entirely. All right. I, I'll get to that point in a second here, but we're uh, tire prep and uh, set up on your car. We're just going to kind of omit those two things. There are two things that I think you can do in order to gain a little more speed. Now, they don't come without consequence. So you have to be careful of what you're doing. All right. First things first, we're going to talk about the circumference of your rear tires. A bigger tire is going to change the gear ratio, ratio when it hits the track. So uh, I learned this aspect when I was back running treads. It was uh, you know an open thing or a, a KT100 thing. People will run treaded tires. Well, treaded tires, you know, our typical, say right rear, for instance, it's 34 inches. Well, a, a treaded tire can be anywhere 35 to 36 inches. You would need to change your rear gear on your axle in order to keep the RPM on your engine the same. It is harder to turn a bigger circumference tire than that. So, say if your right rear was a bit smaller than that, you're going to be I don't know, for instance, 33 and a half. Your right rear is 33, where you're taking a half inch of that right rear. What is that gonna do? It's going to speed up your rear axle. So you're effectively going to gain RPM by going with a smaller tire. Now, I'm not saying this as a cheating thing. This isn't my intent. But if if one was wondering, that's why I do these videos. I, I'm not I'm not pushing anybody to you know go consider cheating. And I don't think I consider that cheating. Cheating would be changing your gear ratio uh, once it's told. This is just another aspect of finding speed. So say reducing the circumference of your your rear tires is effectively going to make their the, the rear axle speed up and you gain more RPM. 
All right, number two on this list is air pressure. If you bump up your air pressure, you will gain more roll speed. It's simple as that, more roll speed. I did not say more corner speed. Now, uh, I started off this channel with a, uh, a montage, not a montage, what is that? A, 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 a statement that corner speed is king. Now, if your track will not take it, if you go crazy, say normally you would run uh, five pounds right side, four pounds left side on your, on your cart. And then all of a sudden you decide that you're gonna get crazy and you're gonna go for max roll speed and you go 12 and 11. Well, you, your roll speed is going to be fantastic. When you get into the corner though, did you just negate what you did? Are you giving up that grip level? Because when you're on higher air pressure, you have a tendency to lose grip in the corner. Now, down south, this this may not be something that, that you do. You know, I might, my perspective comes from the Northern Territory, but when you're on those high bite uh, calcium type tracks, maybe raising your air pressure up all that way is not actually giving up all that much in the corner because there's so much grip to be had that raising your air pressure will effectively you know, lose, it will shed grip in the corner so you will not lock yourself down. Now, on the, the other way, that if you're, you know, you want better grip in the corner, I have a tendency to drop my air pressures. Well, you're gonna, you may pick up corner speed, but you're gonna give up roll speed. So this is something to kind of, you know, if you have a gear rule, you you can, you know, you got a 12 front, a 54 rear, whatever your gear ratio is, and you're locked into that, but you're looking for some other way other than setup, other than tire prop to gain yourself speed. Those two things are a way you could do it. You could, you know, or, Maybe you want to go with a bigger tire. Maybe you want to turn less RPM. Maybe you want to raise that, that kind of torque aspect of your engine up a little bit. Lower, down lower typically has a little bit, uh, you know, a torque or pull. Maybe you don't want to turn those type of RPMs. Just something to kind of play with. You know, for, for those of you who have to deal with this, uh, you know, for the kids, you know, like I said before, absolutely necessary. Let's keep them at low speeds. Let's not have children getting hurt. But for adults, if you're locked into a gear you know, rule, these are a couple ways you might look at actually getting a little better speed out of your engine without cheating. I don't think it's cheating. Don't quote me on that. Go by your track rules, okay? I'm just, I'm just a guy, <laughs> just guy in the barn mentioning things I thought about. Don't say Ben did it. You know, Ben, ben told me it's fine. Don't say that. Nobody cares who I am, okay? <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I'm just saying, if one were to want to play around with that, one might consider doing these type of things. So uh, there you go, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm kind of trying to, I'm feeling froggy today. I'm kind of batch uh, filming some videos out here in the barn. It's a little cool, but I, I'm, I'm feeling feeling pretty good. So I thought I'd come out here and do this. So, all right, guys, I, I really do appreciate you. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Later.